Welcome to this tutorial on proteins and macromolecules. In this tutorial, we will learn to load structures of proteins from Protein Data Bank, download .pdb files from PDB database, display secondary structure of proteins in various formats, highlight hydrogen bonds and disulfide bonds. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with basic operations from JMOL application window. If not, watch the relevant tutorials available at our website. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu operating system version 12.04, JMOL version 12.2.2, .2, Java version 7 and Mozilla Firefox browser 22.0. Structure analysis of large biomolecules such as proteins and macromolecules, nucleic acids, DNA and RNA, crystal structures and polymers can be done using JMOL application. Here I have opened a new JMOL window. 3D structures of biomolecules can be viewed by direct download from database to do so. Click on file menu, scroll down to get PDB. An input dialog box appears on screen. We have to type the four letter PDB code for the particular protein in the input box. This code can be obtained from the Protein Data Bank website. This is the web page of Protein Data Bank. It has information about biomolecules such as proteins and nucleic acids. As an example, let us try to find PDB code for pancreatic enzyme insulin from the PDB website. In the search box, type name of the protein as human insulin. Press enter key on the keyboard. Now on the web page that is displayed, scroll down. A list of known structures of human insulin along with the PDB codes appear on screen. As an example, let's select human insulin with a code 4EX1. Click on the name of the protein. A window opens with all the details of the structure. Information like primary citation, molecular description, and structure validation are available on this page. We can save the structures of proteins as .pdb files and view them in 3D mode in JMOL. Click on the download files link located at the top right hand corner of the page. From the drop down menu, select PDB file GZ option. A dialog box opens on the screen. Select Save File option. Click on OK button. The structure of protein will be saved as 4ex1.pdb.gz in the Downloads folder. Similarly, you can download the required .pdb files of various proteins and save them in separate files. Now let's switch to JMOL window to view the 3D structure of insulin. If you are connected to internet, you can directly download the protein structure on JMOL panel. Type the four letter PDB code 4EX1 in the text box and click on OK button. If you are not connected to internet, then click on open a file icon on the toolbar. A dialog box opens on the panel. Navigate to the location of 4ex1.pdb.gz file that is to downloads folder. Select downloads folder and click on open button. Select 4ex1.pdb.gz file and click on open button. 
3D structure of insulin opens on screen. The default display of the protein on the panel is ball and stick. The model of protein on the panel is shown without hydrogen atoms. To show the model with hydrogen atoms, open the model kit menu. Scroll down to add hydrogens option and click on it. The model on the panel is now displayed with hydrogen atoms. The protein structure is also shown with water molecules. To hide the water molecules, follow the steps as shown. First, open the pop-up menu, go to select. From the sub-menu, choose hetero and click on all water option. Open the pop-up menu again, go to style, scheme and click on CPK space fill option. This will convert all the water molecules to CPK space fill display. Open the pop-up menu again, go to style, scroll down to atoms and click on off option. Now on the panel, we have insulin structure without any water molecules. Next, let us learn to display the secondary structure of the protein in various formats. Open the pop-up menu, go to select option, scroll down to protein and click on all option. Open the pop-up menu again, scroll down to style, then scheme. A sub-menu opens with options like CPK space fill, ball and stick, sticks, wireframe, cartoon, trace, etc. Click on cartoon option from the sub-menu. This display shows the secondary structure of protein as helices, random coils, strands, sheets, etc. For more display options, open the pop-up menu and scroll down to style, then to structures. Here we see many more options to display secondary structure of protein. For example, click on strands option. The protein is now displayed as strands on the panel. To change the color of display, open the pop-up menu, scroll down to color, select atoms and click on blue option. Observe the change in the color on the panel. To convert the structure back to ball and stick display, open the pop-up menu, select style, then scheme and click on ball and stick option. We can also highlight hydrogen bonds and disulfide bonds in the protein model. To display hydrogen bonds, open the pop-up menu, scroll down to style and then Hydrogen Bonds option. The Hydrogen Bonds option in the pop-up menu has features such as Calculate, Set Hydrogen Bonds in Side Chain, Set Hydrogen Bonds in the Backbone and also has options to change the thickness of the bonds. Click on Calculate option to show the hydrogen bonds in the model. The hydrogen bonds are displayed as white and red long dashes. To change the thickness of hydrogen bonds, click on 0 0.10 Armstrong's option from the pop-up menu. Now on the panel, we can see thicker hydrogen bonds. We can also change the color of hydrogen bonds. From the pop-up menu, scroll down to color, then hydrogen bonds, then click on orange option. On the panel, we have all the hydrogen bonds in orange color. Disulfide bonds and sulfur atoms are shown in the model in yellow color. To modify the disulfide bonds, open the option disulfide bonds in the pop-up menu. Click on the features you may want to change like size, color, etc. Similarly, try to open .pdb files of different enzymes and view their 3D structures. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt to load structures of protein from protein data bank. 
download .pdb files from the database, view 3D structure of insulin using PDB code, view protein structure without water molecules, display secondary structure in various formats, highlight hydrogen bonds and disulfide bonds. Here is an assignment. Download the .pdb file of human hemoglobin from PDB database. Show secondary structure in cartoon display. Highlight the porphyrin units of the protein. Refer the following link for the PDB code. Watch the video available at this URL. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Nehalata from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.